first of all, thank you for uh, the time and the opportunity to share another uh, element in Hopkins' marathon footprint. The, uh, in, in 2010, uh, Dimitri Karakidis, in the name of his father, Stelianos Karakidis, who won the 1946 Boston Marathon, began to donate gold, silver, and bronze wreaths to the winners of the Marine Corps Marathon. That marathon, by the way, is known as the People's Marathon. Um, 30,000 runners, um, uh, one of the best marathons in the world, by the way. Uh, it's important for Hopkinton because uh, at mile, the mile one marker, we have the Spirit of the Marathon sculpture which features Stellianos Karakidis. But it wasn't until recently um, that I began to hear about, uh, in fact, it started last year when two Hopkins residents, I happened to see, uh, go to the starting line in the, of the Marine Corps Marathon, Kathleen Carpey and Laura McKenzie, that I began to uh, sense the connection between Hopkinton and the Marine Corps Marathon. And recently I was uh, introduced to Michelle, uh, Kinsella, who is, uh, who I'll let you, I'll, I'll let her tell you about her involvement in a, in a, in a very heartwarming uh, and important organization called the Semper Five Fund. But this year we'll be presenting the taking the wreaths uh, to D.C. again. They'll be presented to the winners of the 41st uh, uh, marathon. Uh, but in addition, uh, we'll be taking part. This community will be taking part in a special. Uh, presentation to the Semper Fi Fund. And I'll let Michelle fill you in on that, the details of that presentation. Great, thank you, Michelle. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Thank you for coming this evening, and we look forward to this whole discussion. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Um, I'm part of the Hopkinton Running Club, and um, many of um, my teammates who have run the Marine Corps Marathon for the Semper Fi Fund, um, which is why we're here today to talk about um, are here, so I just wanted to take a moment just to introduce. Is that this Coach Laura them. and Kathleen and a couple others in the uh, back there? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. So Laura, Kathleen, Jamie Damone, um, Dave P, Wade Marshall, Leah Curtin, Amy Cole, and Lynn Canty um, have all um, run the Marine Corps Marathon um, last year, and um, several of them this year. Um, for the Semper Fi Fund. So in 2010, I didn't realize that connection, um, is when I ran my first marathon, and I ran uh, the Marine Corps Marathon, and I ran it for my dad, who is a Marine and is a Vietnam veteran. And so I wanted a way that I could um, honor what his service was for our country. And so in doing that, in training, I'm like, well, just running, like I need to do more, you know. Um, so I looked for organizations that I could help raise money for, and so I found the Semper Fi Fund, which was very fitting because Marine Corps, that is their, their motto, Semper Fidelius, and my dad has a tattoo on his arm, Semper Fi. So I, I knew that was the organization that I had to, um, to raise money for. And what the Semper Fi Fund does is they provide... Um, financial support for those service members who have been um, injured physically or emotionally um, in the war. Many of them have been, um, have lost limbs from IEDs um, or have traumatic, traumatic brain injuries. And the Semper Fi Fund's purpose is uh, rehabilitation through sport. And so they're going to help um, build ramps and they're going to do those things that just we need, but their real purpose is um, helping them be active. You know, so you have all of these service members who are so strong, and they they need an outlet. You know, they lost an arm, they lost two legs, they lost you know, or eighty percent burned on their body, and they help them by either um, providing equestrian um, therapy. Um, a lot of the guys that I've become friends with, um, they help provide that their running legs. So the government will give them their walking legs, um, but the Semper Fi Fund can help. Um, buy the prosthetic for their running legs, which can be over $100,000. And so the Semper Fi Fund helps um, with, with that. Um, it, and my thought has always been, like when my dad came home um, from Vietnam, he was broken. And no service member should, should feel that way. And the Semper Fi Fund makes sure that that doesn't happen um, to our military. Um, 
service members. Um, and then it came full circle in 2013 after the bombings here um, in Boston. They, um, the Semper Fi Fund, the Friday, um, the Friday after the bombings, they, many of the members came out and they became mentors with um, those people that were injured. And so the Semper Fi Fund found, like if someone lost a leg below, you know, below the knee, they found a service member who lost a leg below the knee. If someone lost two legs, um, they found a service member that um, had both legs blown off by a bomb because who else would know what it feels like um, to go through that. And so the, it's come full circle that I started, um, my team is called Just Because, we run Just Because, um, to help and knowing that it came full circle to help you know, people here in, in Massachusetts when I was just trying to help service members across the United States, but for them to come here and be supportive of, of us when we needed it. It was just very important for me. So, so that's why I won. Just because to help. So, so Tim's here. Um, has been very kind and is, is going to be. Um, will you talk about it? You talk. <laughs> you talk, Tim. <laughs> the, um, the, the, there'll be a, they have a pre, pre marathon dinner, as you know, Chairman Her. Uh, pasta dinner in Washington. There'll be approximately 800 people. Uh, uh, members who have, uh, service members who have received services from the Semper Fi Fund. There'll be a pro approximately 10 to 12 um, runners, participants who uh, were victims in the Boston Marathon bombing. Uh, and, and for me, to be able to bring this back, uh, take the, the, this wreath, this symbol of, uh, of, of peace and victory, uh, and to have it come through Hopkinton is a pretty emotional, heartwarming uh, thing for us to do, and happy to be able to share it with all of you. That's great, that's great. You're doing anything but just because, right? You're doing anything but just because. I mean, this is awesome. I'm a marathon person and I, I love it. And uh, this is the closest I ever get to these things, the winning Reese. <laughs> Me too. Uh, that's why I do this, so I can hang out with the Reese every now and then. Uh, but I think it's awesome what you're doing, what you described and yeah. how, you, how well you put it out there uh, really is moving. So Thank congratulations you. and good luck to you and everybody that's Thank going you. down to run. Uh, I think that's awesome. Yeah, we, the Hopkinton Running Club, this, with this year's group, will have, I think, 27 people from Hopkinton, um, from the running club, that have um, run for the Semper Fi Fund for my team. So That's awesome. So, so this one in here, we have for you to take to the Semper Fi Fund. Uh, go right around the back. Okay. Yeah, come on over here. This one you can take to the Semper Fi Fund dinner and present that. There's a gold wreath there. I'll show this to everybody. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. Thank you so, so much. Travel safe with Thank that. Thank you. I will. And good luck to you. What will you run <laughs> it in? You. Goal is 4.30. 4.30? 4.30. That's what we're shooting for. Awesome. Good Thank for you. you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Good luck. It. Take care. Be well. Thank you. Thank you so much. These two wreaths here, Tim, and the and the silver. Yes. Um, how are they going to get transported down? Is that you're going to take that? TWK's or? car. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you've got that. That's awesome. Can we leave these here for the evening? Is that all right? Please enjoy them. Yeah. I want to just hang out with them for a little bit here. Yep. So feel free. <laughs> Mrs. Wright. I'd just like to say one thing while we're right here. Um, I think it's appropriate to speak to what. The 26.2 Foundation does. Um, Tim Philduff and his 26.2 Foundation um, do such amazing work. Um, they have brought the visibility of Hopkinton and his community and the uh, Metro West region in the state of Massachusetts um, to an elevated level. He has made um, immeasurably important contacts with our friends abroad in Greece in China, in Kenya, um, they brought, I believe it was 100 marathoners from Greece <laughs> to run here in celebration of the 2,500 year anniversary of the Battle of Marathon 
in Greece. Um, the 26.2 Foundation spearheaded the tributes, that, the lasting tributes to the marathon that we have of the Hoyt statue, the George Brown statue, the Spirit of the Marathon statue. Um, it's the 26.2 Foundation that took the initiative to get the Hoyts, Rick and Dick Hoyt, recognized in the Marine Corps Marathon Hall of Fame. Um, this kind of work uh, is just so valuable for the international, the national marathon community, and also for our town. And looking back, I recognize that there's been a tradition of several years, now, quite a few years going back, the Board of Selectmen publicly professing their appreciation by naming the 26.2 Foundation as a community asset. I think that's undeniable. Last time that happened was almost exactly a year ago, November 3rd, 2015. So if you find it appropriate, Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion for this board again to recognize the 26.2 Foundation as a community asset. Sounds like a great motion to me. I'll second it. And we have a second. Thank you, Mrs. Wright. Any discussion on the motion? I think it goes without saying. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I didn't think so. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank Tim, you. thank you for all your work on behalf of the town. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you for letting us do it. Sure. We appreciate it. Great thank job you. tonight, and uh, look forward to uh, hanging out with the Reese here for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>